Hi, I'm Stacy Frank, one of the founders of Lionfish University, here with Jim Hart, also a founder of Lionfish University. And we'd like to introduce Neil Van Niekirk, who we first met years ago on Little Cayman when he was the general manager there. And he has now founded a nonprofit called Two Degrees C. And Neil, tell us about Two Degrees C. What, what is it exactly? Well, Stacy and Jim, great to be with you guys again. Really appreciate you uh, making some time for me. Uh, we're very excited about Two Degrees C since, uh, you know, we, we live in what is undisputably a uh, warming planet. It's, it's hard for, for us to escape that fact with uh, the reality of, you know, warmest summer and warmest September and, you know, uh, sea temperatures rising. It's, it's, these, are, these are now facts that we live with. But what may come as a surprise to you is that there are many places on the planet that have actually never seen a thermometer before. So, and how this impacts, um, you know, us today is that, you know, those that are making innovative decisions and trying to um, affect um, not only change in a, in a meaningful way, but to, to find solutions to our climate change, they're making these decisions with very limited amounts of data. And so Two Degrees C is um, a nonprofit organization that takes outdoor enthusiasts and science professionals, um, as well as uh, you know, uh, recreational professionals, outdoor recreation professionals, and including people just every day, people like us, and who are able then to use um, a device to gather environmental data um, of scientific grade that can help affect these meaningful changes. So, you know, we all feel that we want to be able to make a difference but it's very difficult to do this without a tool. And now we believe we have a tool that can actually do that. And that's the picture that we see there um, on your background. Yeah. So that, that device is called a two degree C leaf. And that is a, um, a very small portable wearable tech that um, automatically collects scientific grade temperature and humidity data um, that we then um, share with, scientific professionals who are then able to um, use that data um, and integrate that into existing data sets so that we can see where change is needed. And then how does the person using it benefit from it? So we do that by, uh, by partnering with um, organizations then, um, you know, whether it be an outdoor retailer or anyone else that can offer us a benefit so that as data is coming in, um, um, those data can then be measured in a way that the user, the person that's out there collecting the data has a, has a track record to, to see how much data they're actually um, adding to, um, to science. And then if those data are used in scientific research, they're offered the ability to be um, notified so that they know that those um, data have had meaning. Um, and uh, like what, said, the, what, what kind of specific data is it collecting? Uh, air quality, uh, water temperature, what's the, what's the no, price? So, so this particular device does two things. This one is doing temperature, it's doing ambient temperature and relative humidity. And this, this, that's just this particular device, the two degrees C leaf. Um, you know, we anticipate there are many devices and many options for collecting um, data from the environment in different realms, including the ocean. But the one pictured behind me, this specific one is just aimed at outdoor recreation. So, um, you know, just people that are in, out enjoying the outdoor recreation um, of their choice, whether it be hikers or bikers uh, or campers, um, you know, they have the ability to attach this to themselves um, and head out into the environment and collect scientific grade data that's possibly never been done in that particular area. Cool. Well, now how do how do how do we get one, or what where, what stage are you at? How can we help? Is there how can we become what I guess you call a citizen scientist? What's the what's the next steps for you? Yeah, so like you said, we're building this this global community of citizen scientists, and um, the uh, device today itself actually exists, and uh, we are busy working with the software side of it right now, um, so that we can. You know, because the device is paired to a software app on your phone, 
And so as you're out in the environment and it's collecting, making these observations, the, the unit then uh, sends this information to the application on your phone. And then once you're back into uh, an environment that has um, LTE or Wi-Fi, the uh, phone app will then seamlessly upload this to our servers. Um, those data are then anonymized and uh, put through a checksum process to make sure that there, that there aren't any outliers. And that then enables us to have a data set from a place that most likely science has probably not been collected before, but then we have that data point to share with scientists and um, organizations that have um, the ability to affect change. And what's it, you're a 501c3, so you're nonprofit, so people can make donations, they can, Correct. and how yeah. do we do that? We, I mean, it's impossible for us to exist without the kind of donations of those people that, that realize that, that um, you know, we are actually in a climate crisis. Okay. So uh, those donations uh, can be made directly right at the 2degreesc.org website, um, or they can contact us uh, via email at info at 2degreesc.org. And we'd be happy to, to, to make um, um, ways for them to, to make meaningful donations. And like you said, it is a 501 C3. So um, they are able to get the tax deductible right off. And, and to wrap it up and what's, what's, what, what's your, what's your dream? What's your, what's the perfect storm for you with this device? What is it that, what's the dream you have of, of, of the outcome for this? Well, I mean, we, we work every day very hard to make sure that this device is, is able to be partnered out with, um, with all those who are interested across the globe. So whether it be a outdoor recreation company or it be, would be um, a ski lodge, for example, um, we, we don't really um, have an agenda of who we want the data to be collected by other than we want the data to be collected by everyone. Um, the more data there is, the more um, change can be made using uh, decisions based on those data. So give us the website one more time so everybody knows where to go check out the progress. It's www.thenumber2degrees, the letter C, dot org. Excellent. Neil, thank well, you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate the information and we'll follow up and see how things are progressing. I'll be happy well. to wear a prototype right here. You, thank you. We'll be sending you one. And one here. So.